and stop. Hello everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today's an important day because we're going to the Skull Caverns today and we are taking it more serious than we've ever taken it before because we're using basically all the resources that we've gathered for, I'd say two months now, all on this one trip. We have this magic rock candy, which we traded three prismatic shards for. We have jades out the wazoo. Uh, these 50 jades are going to be traded for staircases. We've got a monster musk just for fun, I guess. Uh, we have a golden pumpkin because yesterday was Halloween. And that's the only reason. We got our blackberry food. We've got lots of bombs. We have 32 master slingshot shots. Then, of course, we have our sword and iridium pickaxe. With the swift enchantment, which is very important in my opinion. Uh, gravestones again, because yesterday was uh, Halloween. Now, we also have the ginger ale for a little bit extra luck, and the triple shot espresso, and a warp home, so we can stay there as long as possible. And for anyone who needs a reminder, we're doing this because we have the Skull Cavern Invasion mission, which is make it to level 100 of the Skull Cavern. It is a lot harder. There are enemies that will be doing a fourth of our ex of our HP. I don't need this parsnip, but I guess it can be extra food. And look at that. Looks like we'll have four more jades to work with. I didn't mean to grab the diamond. So we're going to try and move... Ah, darn it. As fast as possible here. I will put away this diamond, though. Uh, I could bring the five Omni Geodes to trade, but... Yeah. Uh, I'll put the golden pumpkin in the gravestone just in case that ends up killing us for having, you know, not enough uh, room. Yeah, so I want to set a goal just right. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm wasting time. That's what I'm doing. We don't need to wait for Pam because we do have the desert obelisk, which is why I'm in a, a little bit of a rush because uh, we don't have time to spare, really. So I think my goal is going to be floor 150. And no, I didn't check the TV. I need to remember to do that tonight. Staircases. I'm going to do as many as I can, which is 50. That gives us 79. 79 free... Oh. 83 free floors. My plan is to use 50 of those to get as deep as I can, then pop my luck items... And then we'll start digging normally. I'll use staircases at that point to get past the annoying floors. So that'll give us 33 mulligans. This is the idea. So I'm going to equip them. And we're going to get going. What is this? And here we are on floor 50. So now we start playing the game immediate prismatic shard. Immediate. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and... I'll wait a second before I eat this rock candy because, oh my god, ghosts. So, the thing about the difficult skull cavern is... It's not that complicated compared to the difficult mines. It's literally just things will do more damage. That's just about it. Uh, in addition, like... Oh boy. I do need to remind her kill as many mummies as I can because those are like a particularly hard enemy to find a lot of. Also, you'll see the serpents are huge now. That's all a hitbox. All of that is a hitbox. Okay. Uh, I am going to get this iridium because that is one of the main reasons we're coming here. Uh, once you get to like floor 150, you're really going to be like finding just tons of iridium. Three levels. Okay. Well, that could have been better free staircase. Always take that. Uh, slimes are essentially the exact same. They probably do a little bit more damage. I do want to hurry here kind of as much as I can due to the fact that uh, our luck buff only lasts so long, basically. Ah, see? This is a skip. We do not do those spiral rooms. That's, uh, it's a big no-go. I like how I mo tried to mine like one piece of iridium this whole time, and it was a rock crab. You love to see it. Yeah, uh, the dangerous bugs are the same as always. Again, someday I'd like to get the bug slayer enchantment. Ah. 17 damage. These serpents can do a max of 70 damage to you. These are the hardest hitting boys in this entire dungeon. Please be careful. 
can I just say? Uh, dangerous bugs, of course, cannot be knocked out, so don't even try. All right, we're making decent speed, I think, with our luck buff. Um, I am going to have that ginger ale as well. Speed buff is not really required at the moment. Iridium bats are good to kill. They can drop batteries. They also also deal a ton of damage. Hey, energy tonic. That's really good. Uh, plus 500 energy and plus 250, 25 health. I believe that's a full heal. Obviously, we're jumping down. Seven. That's a little bit better than before. Okay. I am going to heal a little bit. You can see we're starting to find a lot more radioactive ore. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on, like, mining radioactive ore. Like, that's not my main goal. Uh, my main goal is, in fact, to blow up. No, I'm absolutely messing with you. Uh, I only really need radioactive ore in order to make those few crafting recipes. There's nothing I'm really too wazzed about getting a ton of. Uh, the sprinkler extensions would be nice, but I literally already have, like, my entire farm made for those iridium sprinklers as they are now. Another eight levels. Uh, I'm just gonna blow this up. That's all. That's gonna blow up, too. Now I think about it. That's another prismatic shard. Deeper we go, the more prismatic shards we find, so don't be surprised if we just start, like, pooping them. I'm, I'm, I'm prioritizing going deeper than I am, like, getting any of these kill goals. Also, good lord, another one. We literally already have enough for another uh, magic rock candy. I'm trying to position him next to some rocks so we can destroy those rocks with the explosive ammo as well. Uh, this is kind of sucking. I'm going to zoom. We don't want to waste too much time. Uh, if need be... I probably will use the staircases because like I'm holding them yeah this is a lot of enemies I'm holding them yeah for like the bad floors but if we don't end up finding bad floors that's just like <sighs> hello bad floor yeah like we won't find bad floors uh, I'm not opposed to just absolutely murdering serpents because kill goals and all that uh, I believe it's serpents, mummies, and I need to find dinos as well. That was a lot of damage. I really don't want to die right now. Luckily, these boys heal quite a bit. And I can, like, just shove them in my mouth. I almost uh, pressed go up. Yeah. Got to be really careful around a lot of these enemies because uh, a little bad situation like that can quickly just end you. And they have the dumbest hitbox, I swear. Like, I think I'm... I might technically be in one-shot territory right now. Yeah, I'm just going to go. This is not going well for us. Yeah, a lot of these floors. If, like, if I see a serpent flying at me, there's a good chance I'm going to just use a staircase. I say, not using a staircase. These serpents are also, like, just random lengths. Their length really means nothing other than I'm long. Uh, it's kind of like a snake situation where the longer it is, the more space it takes up, and, like, that's the only downside, really. Yeah, blow those up. Ugh. I'm not particularly fond of the irid iridium bats. <sighs> Could have done without those, I think. Oh, that dude's on me. That was not good. I was taking constant damage. Let me just kite them really quick. I should probably put that energy tonic on my main hotbar. They can only turn so fast. This is the strategy. I'm about to get hit. Also, I did not need that. Yeah, with a better weapon, this would be a little easier, but I don't have a better weapon, so that's how we're chilling. Bonk, 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 bonk. This dude has a key gem. You can literally see it holding it. Yep, just like the dangerous mines, you can find key gems down here. Uh, floor 87, we got an iridium sprinkler. I mean, that's not bad. Also, wow, how is my inventory full? Uh, let me get rid of some of the more useless stuff here, like parsnips. I mean, jades I'm keeping. Uh, it looks like I was correct. We don't really need ginger at all. 
so that's not a worry. I don't need to be picking up frozen tears. Uh, so floor 87 was a uh, treasure floor. Interesting. If I could find like another hole. I did a test recording of this. Uh, not anything too wild. Also dangerous squid kids for some reason. I need to kill you. Uh, oddly enough, it seems like the dinosaurs don't have dangerous versions of themselves. Um, I did a test recording of this. Not very long. It was very short. I just did like five minutes and wherever I ended, I was like, okay, that was good. I don't want to like overly prepare because then you don't get the natural reactions. Uh, I found a hole on floor one that sent me down 15 floors. What do we got? Eight. And I want to say 15 is the max. Also, hello, floor 99. Guess what? We have just about done it. So yeah, that was not... That's a rock crab. That wasn't hard at all, was it? And of course, we're playing on 5.5, so God bless we get some quality sprinklers. Cool. I, I mean, hey, with the... Uh, what is it called? The sprinkler extension that turns into an iridium sprinkler, so how about that? Okay. So I will spend a bit more time uh, killing enemies that need to be killed. Uh, this floor does not happen to have any. But yeah, you can notice. Floor 100, iridium nodes out the wazoo. It's wild. And if I was trying to get my, <laughs> my slime kill number, that would have been the way to do it. Uh, nothing? Hello? There's not many more rocks I can break here. If none of these four are it, I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to smack out these mummies as they appear. Probably use up all my explosive ammo. Ooh, crit. Crit one shot a ghost. You don't too see too many ghost one shots. Ah, oh, if I can hit that one in the middle. Oh, that was beautiful. I loved that. See, this is exactly what I need to be here for, so I'm not too mad spending a little bit extra time here. 4 p.m., huh? I might use those... Speaking of the devil. Get me out of here. Good lord. Okay, this is pretty safe. Speak of the devil. There's a floor that I needed to use. A, uh... Drop down. Also, hey, there's the stack of slimes just like the dangerous mines. They're here too. They're just not a threat. What are we gonna get out of that? Amethyst? I don't really care. <laughs> cool. Got hit with the back <laughs> the backswing on that. There's a lot of iridium. Maybe I'll just uh ugh. Uh blow that open. Because Iridium Nodes will still take four hits, and I don't think there's an enchantment to speed that up at all, so... I'm gonna be four hitting... Okay, I'm just gonna pop that down. Who cares? That hit me still, huh? Yoinky! That destroyed that fire quartz. Bye. <laughs> Again, like, too many serpents. It's, it's a lot to deal with. I'm not gonna... not gonna take it. Try to multitask here a little bit. All right, you. Got him. So I guess it's gonna be a little uneventful here until we start getting a bit deeper to... Oh, battery. I do want a battery. Dwarf Scroll 3, man. I remember there was something that had to do with a Dwarf Scroll 3 specifically, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. Oh, wow, that cloth was worth a lot of money, huh? Couldn't tell you what it was that was the Dwarf Scroll 3. It's the most random item, but... Uh, we do, like, need the Dwarf Gadget, but that's through Treasure Trove, so... And blow up that Iridium Node while you're at it. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Uh, actually, let's see if we can do something stupid. Actually, you know what's stupid? Dying. Dying at this point. 5.50 p.m. We have a good day going for us. Look at all these... All these mummies stacked right up. Delicioso. Bonk. Bonk. Love the 999. It's so satisfying. 
Oop, there goes my luck buff. Well, we're going to say, see markedly less Iridium nodes because of that. It's oh, a lot of ghosts. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Also, my speed buff went away too. Wow, this sucks. Remember being slow? Remember that? Okay, I was kind of open. Could get both of them in one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee because this is painful. That monster musk again is good. It, it's good for getting your uh, serpent slayer goal. That's basically all I'm going to be using it for. Uh, a lot of enemies. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Kill that one mummy. I'm gonna be very interested to see what the daily luck here. Oh yeah, gather up. Gather up, boys. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely marvelous. I, I surprised that didn't do it for the mummy slayer goal. Okay. Hit that thing behind me. I don't think I personally deserved that, but all right. We take those. Yeah, knock out that iridium. I love that. It's such a funny little trick. If I could get that mummy. How many mummies did I need to knock out? Yeesh. Oh yeah, this is a bomb. Bomb moment. And while we're waiting for that to explode, seems like a good, efficient time to go ahead and heal up. I think I'm going to pop the rest of these, uh, these staircases real quick, because we're not really getting too many awful layouts. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Surely Gambler's Fallacy will work in our favor, correct? Uh, perhaps not. I have two sh sh shots left in that. Use them well. I mean, I used them for what I wanted to use them for. Mummies. This is not ideal. Also, sorry for you here clacking. Uh, as you can imagine, the Skull Cavern is pretty intense. That was my last shot. <laughs> cool. 37, Christ. Another prismatic shard. I mean, hey, that just means that whenever we want to do a skull, skull cavern run again, uh, it'll be pretty easy. That's the main idea here. Yeah, I'm just going to go as deep as we can. Real quick. Try my best not to drop two in the same spot. Ugh, see like that. Ugh, disgusting. Okay, I will save 10. Like, absolutely. But now we're at the point where there's just dumb amounts of Iridium nodes everywhere. So there's really no reason for us not to, like, actually explore these floors. Also, wow, you spit through rocks. I didn't know that. Maybe that's his upgrade. Also, this is painful not being able to get squid ink. Another key gem, though. We always take those. Uh, I d let's not die. I feel like I healed a little out of something, but I don't know how. Just curious, what's my radioactive ore count? 15? I don't think that's enough. So we are just gonna keep getting them, of course. There'd be no reason why I wouldn't, but still. I feel like I should just say that. 9 p.m. Um, you better believe that I'm stretching this out all the way till 2 a.m., like hard, like hard 2 a.m. And there is a glitch, I guess I'll mention, don't know if it's still in the game. I highly doubt it. Oh, of course it was rock crab. Disgusting. Guess I'll get some more Slayer Gold stuff. Another battery. We take those. Even though I, I think I still have a lot laying at home. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Not too fruitful. Oh my goodness. You're taking hits, aren't you? Uh, hmm. Get rid of my sap. Quickly eat this spicy eel. Because that's a luck increase right there. And a speed increase. Both very good things. Alright. We have a lot of monsters coming at us. None of these look like... <gasps> okay. That's good for us. Remember I said the goal was 150? We might get it. I Just leave, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just cease. Okay. Jump in. Eight levels, that's wild. Also, hello. Food. Food, 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 food. Uh, I wanna try and get as many of these mummies in one blast as I can, and I wanna say that might finish off 
are Mummy Slayer, but I mean, I could be just completely wrong. Look at all these enemies. Imagine not having a completed combat level. Okay, got all those. Tried to get as many rocks as I could in that blast. There you go. Uh, miner's treat. I don't really too much care. Hello. Uh, wow, this is a floor of uh, just tons of treasure, huh? Not gonna lie, this is kind of looking like floor one of the regular mines. I'm gone. I don't mess with that. I do need to heal a bit more. Wow, we might uh very well exhaust our blackberry stash here. All right. Nope, no bone, no bone. No bonus, dog. The bone is not real. Not today. Try to get those two iridium ores. Yeah, nothing. Ooh, got a key gem from that. Uh, it's very nice that those are like 100% drop rates for, for Omni Geodes. Someday I'll get my thoughts out. Cause I mean, how many do we have? 29? That's a good amount of the good juice. Treasure troves. Radiant bats can do just absolute damage, so I'm avoiding that. Oh, slimed is not what I wanted to be. Mm. Okay, if I took too much damage there, that would have been a death. Yeah, this isn't good. This is very cringe. Ooh, blocked. That was a frame-perfect block right there, baby. That's a lot of serpents, huh? What y'all doing? I'm gonna play this a little defensively. Midnight already, huh? That's unfortunate. A uh, life elixir right there. You know, I could just real quick... Slurp. That'll fill me up on life, and I believe give me a little extra? If I'm right? I just crit both of those. Wait, is each swing determined a crit or not? I don't think that's true. Oh, you, I did not know you could hit the butts of those for uh, damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, my goal right now is getting as much Iridium as I can. So I'm going to like storm all the Iridium and if it doesn't give me a staircase, I'm just gonna go lower with my own staircase. I think that's the plan currently. Because I would like to not have to come back for gathering resources. I'm gonna have to come back eventually for Monster Slayer goals, but I can deal with that. Did I just take a second hit there too? Sheesh. The ghosts are the most annoying thing simply because they're a constant. They're just always just moseying over you. Nah. I almost put down more than one. Here we go. In fact, you know what? I see an opportunity. That looks about right. This one's gonna miss. Yeah, and how right I was. We definitely don't want to pass out here. Yeah, it's time to go. I hate to say it. Hold on. Okay, you never knew if you're gonna get something cra crazy. That was a good run, I think. Uh, we got to floor 150. I didn't actually check the floor. 29 Omni Geodes, five Prismatic Shards, 248 Iridium Ore, 17 radioactive ore. A little bit less impressive, but oh my goodness. Yeah, that is what happened there. I'm not going to do the radioactive ore yet because uh, I know I didn't. I literally did nothing. Wait. Queen of the sauce. Oh my god. This? Disgusting. Oh my lord. Fiddlehead risotto. Fiddlehead ferns are beautiful, but quite actually bland on their own. That's why you have to pay careful attention to the spices you add. I'll be honest, it's not very easy to make a good fiddlehead risotto, but with my help, you'll have the best chance at ever achieving it. And that's why you don't, <laughs> you don't skip the TV. Oh my god, that could have been so bad. It was neutral. Yeah, you know, it felt like a neutral day. After my luck buffs re uh, wore off, it wasn't, you know wild either way okay day two we can be a little bit more chill today what are your plans this winter i know it's more of a laid-back time for you uh well unfortunately it's uh right out of the fryer and into the frying pan 
Uh, can we actually make that fiddlehead risotto right now? Because I feel like we definitely have fiddleheads in here. Where is that, actually? I don't know what it would look like, if that's weird. I mean, it's got to be, like, near the end, because it's a year two uh, thing. Hello? Oh, that's literally it. Yeah, we have enough for it. Um, cool. Yoink. So, we can do a lot today, actually. Because we do need to, obviously, we need to fix up our... Oh, winter. Oh, winter. I missed winter. I love winter in this game. I love winter aesthetically in real life. But, God, if I have to drive through it... Awful. I had to drive through it today. We have enough for two of those big bad boys. Okay. So, we're about to get 40 more key gems. We do need to start a new key gem mission. I don't believe we... I will go to the desert and trade in Omni Geos for treasure troves. You know what? We'll break those open today. That's what we'll do. And let me put all my, like, combat exclusive items in here. I didn't use the monster musk because, I mean... You did the monster musk. Okay, I'm done. Energy tonic. I did get the sprinklers, which, you know, isn't awful. I will take some of these uh, essentials back as well. Speaking of which... Speaking of essentials, I guess. Wine? Yeah, yeah, wine. Okay, well, I'm gonna go grab a stack of wine and put all those in and I'll be right back. There, the boys are wiggling and we have 64 Silver Star Wine, so that's gonna get us a, fetch us a pretty penny. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell that because we don't have any other, I mean, we're going to Pierre's anyway, so who cares? Uh, speaking of which, we can turn in the Pierre's missing stock list, so that can be done. Man, Golden Pumpkin I'm just going to keep because it's neat, <laughs> you know? Uh, we should be able to... Now, is it only Earth Crystals for the Mountain Obelisk? I don't actually remember off the top of my head. Because, I mean, with all this Iridium, we do have enough Iridium bars to complete the game at this point. So, that's exciting. Also, 97 coal. Uh, not to be, like, undervalued. That's pretty dang good. Really happy about that. So, I'll bring uh, 10 Iridium bars. We just happen to have just enough. Uh, okay, so first things first. We are going to get rid of the Fiddlehead Risotto. Because we don't need that. Uh, second off, let's go to the desert so we can go ahead and yoink some more treasure troves and hopefully get both the the one item that we're missing missing and a uh only six that felt a little underwhelming and also a dwarf computer or whatever it's called because we still need it to make the farm computer so the oh hey there you go however many days it's been that's how many it takes for the solar thing to be done Mixed seeds, quite possibly the least great thing we could get. And hello, yoink. So now we can age this row. Uh, not until our wine's ready. Uh, I mean, you know what I could do? Oh, all the grass is gone. Oh, golly. We do have a, uh... yeah, we have winter boys for all these. Oh yeah, our pigs are once more useless. That sucks. Yo, where's my milk pail? I usually keep it in there. But since I've been milking them outside, you know, I didn't do that. Uh, milk pail. You know, keep the pan anyway. Because if I see a panning spot, I'll use it. Inventory space really hasn't been a problem in a long time. So, I don't feel bad about that. Can I milk my goat, please? Big milk? Big milk! Okay, cool. It's yet another thing that we can get rid of. I guess the aged row will go in here for the time being. Uh, I am... No, actually, you know what? It's not aged row, first of all. It's just lava eel row, which is very expensive. Uh, it's just gonna make a keg <laughs> and, like, put it here. Because who cares? Basically. And put in the row. Nope. Wait. Does it just go in, like, a... Uh, ke not a keg. Does it just go in a preserve jar? Am I dumb? Uh, to be fair, I don't do this very often. Or does it actually go in one of the wine cellars? Uh, 
Oh no, it just goes in a preserved jar. Okay, cool. I mean, hey, more power to ya. Keg. Sweet. All right, so order of operations here. Let's go to Clint first because I have a habit of missing Clint. So go straight to town. And what is up? Pop open, pop my voice as you do. Ornamental fan. The flute. Oh no. Eh. Okay. All right. That's my third chicken statue. Oh boy. I can't win. We were missing that before, but mm, that's a lot of items. One minute. I do wonder, like a lot, what a lot of these things would tailor into personally. So that's something we could explore. Did I not slurp coffee? Slurp coffee, bro. Let's get moving. Hi, Sam. I walked by. Tropical fish and cave patrol. A number of skeletons in the local caves have made mining dangerous. Mm, yeah, none of these matter. I'll just take the tropical fish as usual because it does give me an item that I want but don't need. And I want it for the aquarium. So you could probably like take a few guesses as to what that is. This man's craving sardine. No, that's Jody, not man. It's Grobus's birthday. We've never uh, given him an item on his birthday, have we? Huh. Because we... Did we have Krobus last year? I think we did. Pierre's heated shop. I got something for you, bud. Oh, wow. It's my old stock list. I've been searching everywhere for this thing. Let me see. Yep, it's all still here. With these order codes, I can expand my stock to include seeds from all seasons year-round. Thanks so much for bringing this back to me, Rob. Which means... Potato. Uh, I think I need two, now that I think about it. Now, what were the other... Okay, yep, yeah, we need... Red cabbage. Let's see. Yam, I believe I have growing. Poppies I've never had. Get poppy seeds. Uh, I do need to specifically donate the goat milk. Oh, also, while I'm here, here, have some wine. Just a little pittance for you. Oh, ugh, if we get that dragon tooth. Ugh, that hurts. That hurts my soul. Uh, sunflower we have growing, and these are... What is this? I keep seeing it, and I keep, like, forgetting. That's the tea. Okay, yeah. Wait, but didn't we already... No, that's not the tea. What is that? I'm dumb. That's just how we are. We're almost done with this. This one little, it's a mask, obviously. I keep trying to not say it, but. Fried egg, hash brown, yeah. We need to, hey, we can fish for the squid now. Rhubarb we have planted. Uh, Wait, oh, wow, I think I need another bok choy, maybe. And then we're just waiting for those two, uh, those three ingredients that we have left to get, which I believe are all going to come from actually one of them's from I know what one of them's from I need to get a pirate hat still hmm these two should be from queen of the sauces I'm fairly certain but yeah like at this point we've unlocked all boundaries that stop us from doing certain things in certain seasons so that's completely free to us for now so it's really just we can get things done as fast as we get them done. And the surprising thing is, I didn't think I was going to make all the money for the, all of the obelisks in this year, but I think we will, because we only need money for, I mean, we only need another 500,000 and we're more than, we're, we're, we'll get that really quickly. Like with how much star fruit we have planted, it's just gonna take a little bit longer for all the extra stuff. So there's the two potatoes. Uh, red cabbage, and it's your boy, Poppies. All right, I'll get all of my ancient fruits, and I'll see you right after. I gotta remember to go to the island. I'm almost forgetting that I do need to get that uh, for whatever. My yams are ready. Cactus fruit that I no longer need are ready. God bless. Uh, my inventory is, in fact, full. Just <laughs> throw this ancient sword in the trash. And grab this bok choy. 
Oh, hold on, sunflower as well. Uh, prehistoric tibia, who needs it? Sunflower and seeds can just sit there, I guess. Well, cool, there's, what, that's three things that we're going to donate today. I don't know if the aged rogue go ages in a day. I don't know if a day means it's aged, really. Uh, so if I remember correctly, I only need to donate one yam. Why, why is it like this? Oh, one yam. Uh, get rid of that sunflower. Just put these ancient fruit in here. Who cares? Cactus fruit, too, is really not important. Get rid of the large goat milk. All these artifacts I don't really care too much about, to be honest. Cool. All right. Tropical fish, that's what that is. And then the other yams can go in here because I believe I need them along with cranberries. And I think I need a bok choy. Wait, I have a bok choy. Hold on, can't I make that now then? Whatever it was. Someone said that I should actually just... uh. Wait, crab cakes give you speed? Yeah, it gives you a speed upgrade for like the whole day. Apparently it lasts the whole day long, so that's pretty poggers. I could have sworn I had everything I needed for whatever that was. Hold on, let me check that again in the collections. Cooking, it's the, the super meal. Oh, it's an artichoke. We need to we need to plant an artichoke. Okay. Uh, I'll try to start that today. We're running a little low on time. First of all, I do want to go to the wizard and see what else we need for the mountain warp totem, the mountain obelisk, just because I want to get it. Hey, you know what? I think I'll show you this little walk in the woods just because it's winter and it's been so long since we've seen these visual styles. And hey, I think the game is now officially in sync with real time. Well, in the Northern Hemisphere. I have everything. Oh, it was only the Earth Crystal. I guess that's why there's 10 Iridium bars because it's to offset the fact that you only need the, I can just block this path off. That's how that works, huh? Uh, Why can't I build it here? Like why, oh, cause that's the space in front of the uh, cave. Uh, this is gonna be a little off. We can make the little cave of obelisks here for now. Look at that. I know it's blocking our fancy desert obelisk, but oh well. We'll get used to it. Actually, ooh, I'd be, be better be careful or I'll forget which ones are which. Oof, I will be careful. Uh, Let's just go. Here's the thing now. We can now warp basically all in between Stardew Valley at our leisure. So warp back home. Yeah, it might be a little iffy there. Oh no, you can transparent it. Go to the beach, beach. And then right on down over to uh, Ginger Island, which is now the only obelisk we're missing because I am physically incapable of finding dragon's teeth, I suppose. Also, hey, happy episode 93, by the way. We're going to be hitting 100 soon. It's raining. Hey, I almost forgot that. I do have my hoe with me. Good. Okay, well, in addition to... Mmm, okay. Well, first of all, let's take care of the star fruit. Okay, wasn't that much star fruit to take care of. Also, I didn't bring star fruit seeds because I'm a terrible, terrible boy. I think I am going to expand this farm to try and take up almost all of this space. Simply because I should, uh, just for money-wise. If I want to, like, complete this absolutely in year three, like, think about the profits we've made. We've made about, well, it takes three million. Three million gold for all the obelisks. So that's around how much we've made if we count in like buying all of the, not a worm, oh my God. If we count in all the like seed buying and building buying and everything, right? Did, oh. Oh, baby. We can't... We can't collect. Be because... Because we didn't come yesterday. I didn't... I didn't... No. Wait, no, we got it. Oh, we did get it. Okay, you get it immediately. Oh, God bless. Thank God. 
I was so worried. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and yoink that hopper. That takes a radioactive bar. This takes radioactive ore. Okay, I just need to keep track of it because... Uh, hey, that just means we only need to complete one more. And hey, guess what? We already have four prismatic shards. Uh, now, does that mean we need to find them? No. I can just place those four prismatic shards we got yesterday in and we're done. Okay. You know what this week is going to be then. Uh, I could probably get another good run into the Skull Caverns done, to be honest. I think I'm going to try and focus on just fully, like, filling this. Just absolutely filling it. Uh, fertilizing every single spot. Getting more iridium sprinklers, because, I mean, obviously we have the resources to do that now. I think that's going to be the goal of this uh, week right now uh bok choy bok choy i needed for cooking right why didn't i uh donate that or put that in all right let me grab all of these star fruits what am i gonna do it's 6 40. you know what first thing of what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear out all of this land because i need to have as many room as much room for worm as i can Although if I, yeah, if I expand my farm here, then we'll have less chance of worm. And that's less of a chance to complete the game. I, I guess I could look for that last, uh, the last few dragon teeth. Which reminder, we do need two dragon teeth because we need one to complete the obelisk. And then another one to make the uh, island warp totem, which we've been kind of sitting on for a while. Also, hey, once I get the 10 Iridium Bars, uh, we can finally buy that Desert Warp Totem, which is a completely useless item for us, but it's there. Hidden in the pages of the journal. It keeps saying that. So I should be able to get this last one through one of the pages of the journal. Here I have no choice to make a life for myself. There's fresh water. Yeah, that's just, that's just lore. Won't go hungry. The wars are... Waters are full of edible fish. Caught a stingray in the caves. Other day I fished up a, a couple of golden walnuts. Do I need to fish up a golden walnut? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Because I'm, I'm so sure. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't fished up all the golden walnuts. One must keep their eyes pills for subtle clues. If something looks unusual, there may be a hidden note. Nut. Signs in the sand, signs in the leaves. Even saw a nut in a tree near the volcano. If only I had a way of shooting it. Uh, I need to bring my slingshot. That's the one we're missing. I remember now because, oh my god. Because I was like looking at all the golden walnut list and I was like, oh, can't forget that one. And then it just immediately just boing out of my mind. Oh, that's unfortunate. I am going to go back to the farm because staying here at this point is pointless. I need to grab those prismatic shards and hey, more jade. I mean, listen, more iridium won't hurt. Because actually, I'm, I legitimately, legitimately mean this. It could be a great way of getting money because uh, there is an ability, a profession in the miner tree that makes iridium or just any kind of bar sell for more, including radioactive bars. So something to keep in mind. Uh, can I craft any of the fancy boys we got? Oh, I need marble. Uh oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I can get those from Omni Geodes. So I have to, we need a dwarf gadget and 10 refined quartz. That's not a problem. I can make the hopper now. So I'll just do that. Heavy tapper I've already made. Everything else has been done other than farm computer and marble brazier. Also the skull brazier, easy. Just skull skull things. Yeah. Tub of flowers. Hey, I should be able to buy all of these now, so I'll just do that. Oh, I need to buy ten garlic is actually one thing I need to do. Life elixir will continue to evade us, I think. I don't know if we have too much of a a way to get that, really. Warp Totem, you already know. 
Yeah, I'm just like kind of keeping track of what we've le yet to do, and I think, yeah, because this one was actually. Hold on, uh, didn't we get a new? No, I didn't buy the new uh, fertilizer. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's make some iridium sprinklers. How many iridium bars am I? I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna have 16 more iridium bars. I need 10 to buy the thing. I have five in my inventory right now. And I need another 10 for the island obelisk. Ugh, I'm actually cutting it kind of close. You know what? I'll make I'll make three more iridium sprinklers. Because I do have that one that we got from a chest while we were going spelunking. So that gives us four more to use on the island. So we're going to bring that. In fact, you know what? For things I want to bring over to the island, I'm going to put in here. Poppy spangle jazz garlic. Are any of these, uh, are we missing one of the seeds for the uh, tub of flowers, actually? Tulip. Yeah, I need to buy tulip. That's got to be a tomorrow thing. Okay, iridium. Uh, I'll put the iridium stuff back here. Oh, I have so many items, this hurts. Uh, aged row does, in fact, take a few days to age. Imagine that. I need to put the bok choy into the fridge. Also, I don't know if I talk to you today. Don't want to lose that f fat 14. And for decoration items, they can go in here. Hopper, ugh. Automatically loaded into the machine in front of it. Right. So, like, we could do that for ores and stuff. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works, so I've never really used it before. So, eh. 9.40. Okay, I did not, uh, not actually check the uh, TV this morning, so good that I did. So let me think just what else do I need to do? I need to make money. I need to get Omnigeodes to complete the museum. I need to make my aquarium. That's absolutely on the list of things to do. Is it big now? Did it complete the bigging, beginning? It did complete the beginning, so we'll be able to start setting up a bunch of aquariums in here. Um, I guess before the night ends, we could go and tend to the slime hutch, as you do. Two greens and a red. Hello, those bounced. Oh my goodness. I think we'll pop enough for another egg, which is not, you know, not something you hear often, but you're hearing it now. They're so close to getting through. It has like a weird hitbox, I guess. Also, just short of another slime egg. I know I have slime sitting in the chests, but I'm not going to go all the way back for that. Grab these, because uh, I might want to make more kegs for year two, for year three, that is. Because you never know. I'll make my process any less cumbersome than I'll go for it. And I'll put the rest of the... Yeah, 500 slime. Yeah, we could use that whenever we want. Cool. And we're just kind of sitting on everything else, huh? I don't remember what I needed that dwarf scroll for. I know it was something. Maybe it was a loved item of some. I don't remember. We do have aquamarine. I just need to get that marble. If I were to guess, marble's probably a frozen geode, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, yeah, and then we just need to buy a few things for crafting recipes. Notably, garlic garlic and the tulips for the tub of flowers uh we'll need a lot of garlic that is uh and then one artichoke i believe it is and that should be well all of the things we have currently because we still have three more dishes to get so hey if we complete the dishes this year i would actually be extremely excited for that oh complete breakfast i'll get you eventually thank you all for watching i'd say this was a Pretty dang good video. Uh, progress video. I'm not out and about about myself. Thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow and good night.